U.S. President Joe Biden's National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan is slated to land in India today. His visit aims at making the final preparations for Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's maiden trip to the United States of America. According to reports, Sullivan will be meeting his Indian counterpart, Ajit Doval, to finalize certain agreements that are to be unveiled during the Prime Minister's state visit. The Indian leader's visit it maps a slew of activities that will be undertaken during the four-day trip, which includes a public meeting to mark the World Yoga Day on the first day of his visit. This will be followed by an address to the U.S. Congress and a state dinner hosted by President Biden and the First Lady. Prime Minister Modi's visit will conclude with an address to the gathering of an Indian diaspora members from across the country. According to reports, a defence co-production deal with fighter jets is on the table. Following a recent visit by the US Defence Secretary Lloyd Austin to New Delhi, India-US strategic alignment has been in the making for long, but the latter has now heightened its interest in furthering bilateral ties. And this comes in the backdrop of increasing tensions between China and the United States, the former's aggressive military expansion in the Asia-Pacific region as well. So, U.S. President Joe Biden's National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan to be uh, slated to land in India today. This visit aims to make the final preparations for the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's trip to the United States of America. According to reports, Sullivan will be meeting his Indian counterpart Ajit Doval to finalize certain agreements that are to be unveiled during Prime Minister Modi's state visit. According to reports, Sullivan will be meeting his Indian counterpart Ajit Doval. This will be to finalize certain agreements that are to be unveiled during Prime Minister Modi's state visit. The Indian leaders visit. It maps a slew of activities that are to be unveiled, that are to be undertaken during his four-day trip. This also includes a public meeting that will mark the World Yoga Day on the first day of his visit. Jake Sullivan slated to land in India today. And this is to make final preparations for Prime Minister Narendra Modi's trip to the United States of America. And for more on this, we have with us our principal diplomatic correspondent Sidhan Sibal joining us from New Delhi. Sidhan, thank you so much for joining us. What can you tell us of the significance of this visit? He will be meeting his Indian counterpart today. What would you say is on the agenda for this meet? Well, this is the second high-level visit from United States to India. This month, we earlier saw the U.S. Defense Secretary was in India and held talks with his counterpart, uh, the Indian Defense Minister Rajnath Singh. But uh, key visits ahead of the Indian Prime Minister's uh, much-awaited visit to United States. Uh, we have seen comments coming almost every day from the White House uh, as to what preparations and expectations are there from the Indian Prime Minister's visit. But essentially, the visit of the, uh, the American NSA will uh, smoothen any issues when it comes to signing several pacts. Uh, we know that GE deal is now confirmed uh, that it will be signed, which which basically means manufacturing of jet engines here in India, uh, which will be used in Indian uh, fighter jets. So essentially both sides are coming together and there are a lot of convergences as well, whether it's Indo-Pacific, whether it is uh, uh, when it comes to fight against terrorism and also, of course, dealing uh, with a very aggressive China. So both India and United States coming closer at a time when we have seen once in a century changes happening across the world, especially in Asia with the rise of a very aggressive China. Right, Siddhant. In fact, I was just going to come to this. Of course, as you mentioned as well, this comes in the run-up to Prime Minister Modi's visit to the United States. So how do you see the cooperation between the two sides being strengthened going forward? Well, uh, both countries are keen on cooperating in every sector possible. Let's take, for example, defense, where both countries are keen on uh, co-producing several defense equipments. And defense has been something that uh, both sides have been talking about. In fact, uh, j just yesterday at the uh, briefing, daily briefing, the White House emphasized on the strong defense relationship between India and the United States. So, uh, essentially, uh, defense is, for example, one of the areas where there is cooperation, but there is cooperation also 
also in critical technologies we saw the initiative taken uh, by india and united states during the visit of the indian nsa to united states in the month of january and now of course the american nsa coming uh, to india in fact they will be holding uh, the dialogue later today and focus of course will be on hammering out the deals which are expected to be signed during uh, the indian prime minister's visit but essentially one thing that worries both the countries is a rise of a very aggressive china china being aggressive with india and its northern borders with america as well in, in several ways and both the countries working not only bilaterally but also uh, in terms of the larger uh, region under uh, the rubric of the quad as well we saw earlier uh, this year the quad meeting in hiroshima uh, where both uh, sides and of course all the four sides uh, uh, emphasized on the role quad plays uh, uh, has in the region right. and especially when it comes to dealing with humanitarian challenges so a very significant visit of the american nsa to new delhi and of course a much awaited visit of the indian prime minister as well to united states in few weeks uh, uh, from uh, today right so that well thank you so much for bring us the latest on this we will of course continue to track the developments beyond is now available in your country download the app now get all the news on the move